Awesome. And let me say welcome to disasters, you guys. Happy, happy disaster. <laughs> So um, I know some of you, but not everybody. So I am uh, Dr. Sean Anderson. I am your professor for this semester and uh, also the chair of ESRM. Um, and uh, we're gonna have a great time. Um, I'm excited. This, is the, this semester is the first time that um, we're beginning to teach this class uh, in person. Obviously we're not in person these first two weeks, but but uh, I, we, this is a brand new class. We only taught it for the very first time last spring. It's one of our newly introduced classes from our new major uh, overhaul, new emphases overhaul. Um, and so it was great, but we had just a, a, a small handful of students that signed up uh, last spring. Um, and so uh, it was cool, but, it was, but we're, we're essentially completely virtualized still. And it just was, it was, you know, it was okay, as, as we all were, you know, we all kind of made it through the, the craziest of the online times, but it wasn't as, um, as engaging as maybe I, I'd hoped it could have been. And so hopefully we'll, we'll have a, a more engaging class and, and more stimulating discussions and all that kind of stuff uh, this semester. So, so welcome. So this is ESRM 367. If you're, if you're, if it's too early, you're not sure what classroom, what, what section you're in. Um, so mostly today we're going to go over logistics and make sure everybody's sort of onboarded and, and getting up to speed um, with all that good stuff. And so, um, so I'm going to have all kinds of introduction stuff to go over, but does anybody have anything um, burning right now? Is there anything that, that you guys are, are wondering about um, before we get going uh, this morning? Okay. Um, so uh, uh, our... I'll just start off by saying our, our typical Zoom, Zoom rules or my typical Zoom rules room, rules apply uh, for uh, today and next week when we're, when we're online, which is um, uh, I might be rambling on and I don't always have everybody's screen in front of me. It's hard for me to manage both my chat and um, uh, whatever the stuff I'm presenting uh, on my small screen. So by all means, you guys are always invited to, if, I, if I'm going too fast or something, I'm frozen or whatever the heck, uh, please just unmute and, and go ahead and, and, you know, verbally interrupt me. Hey, Dr. A, just, you know, can you repeat that or whatever? It's all good. So, so please, everyone has permission to do that all the time. Also, in our face-to-face -face classes, we definitely will take a break, you know, at least one break over our, this three-hour morning uh, uh, lecture class thing. Um, uh, but online, what I also try to do is at least every hour take a, uh, at least a five or 10 minute break, at least a five minute break. And so um, if we're going and we hit the nine o'clock hour, for example, and I'm just like -da 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 -da, talking about some disaster thing, whatever, it's totally cool to, hey, Dr. A, you know, it's nine o'clock, right, dude? And, and, and that, that's cool, too. So, um, uh, yeah, so there we go. Um, so, so, so that's uh, basic logistics. Obviously, we're recording this right now. Um, generally speaking, I will try to record most of our um, most of our uh, uh, lectures and, and and presentations and stuff of that nature, um, so that uh, uh, we can make sure that you can guys can either go back and review, or if someone um, again has bad internet or something of that nature, they can they can go back and capture that. Um, Okay, all kinds of logistics things to say, but I just want to start off by asking, um, we started this uh, a few minutes ago when, when people were just onboarding, but just want to open it up again. I'm curious as to how, uh, how everyone is, was doing and, and how, how this last month or so has treated you, hopefully well. Um, uh, I have all kinds of things to say about the Omicron and, and logistics and stuff with, with regards to school to make sure that we're all caught up on the same page. But to start with, just want to um, uh, invite everybody to take a turn, introduce yourself, uh, 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 address us by the name you'd like us to, to use, et cetera, for you, and just um, say hi and maybe, uh, you know, how, how the last month went. Um, and, uh, and, and if you can't think about anything else to say, what you're looking forward to this semester. So I'll start. I'll go. And we'll just popcorn around. So I'll start off, and then I'll when I finish up, I'll I'll uh, name the person to the left of me or the right of me, and he or she can go, and then and then we'll we'll 
we'll uh, work our way around. So uh, I'll start. So I'm, as I mentioned before, I'm, I'm Dr. Anderson. Uh, you guys can refer to me however you like. Um, uh, most of the time, uh, so when I first, so I've been teaching here for a long time. I've been teaching college for a long time. You can, you should read my about me and stuff to, to hear about my history, but uh, on our webpage, on our Canvas page. But uh, real briefly, um, uh, I am um, the first person in my family go to college and, and most of my family is, is kind of crazy. Not kind of crazy, they're like seriously crazy. Um, and, uh, and so I, I was one of those guys that like, you know, I never really, I don't have people call me doctor or professor or whatever. And when I came here to, to Channel Islands, like, what do we call you? I'm like, just call me Sean. And then I realized that got a little bit out of control because uh, uh, yeah, students were walking around going, what the F, Sean? And it was like, well, we're, maybe we weren't the most professional relationship. So, so then I started having people call me uh, Dr. A. And so that's how most people, that's all sign my emails and stuff. So you guys can refer to me however you like, but most students just use Dr. A, which is kind of a little professorial, but it's not, it's not fully, uh, super uh, fancy um, kind of deal. So, so that's me. As far as uh, my, my, um, my break, uh, I, I was super lucky. I, I managed to do my first trip, um, brief trip uh, to, uh, to New Orleans. And um, uh, it was great. Uh, I actually was able to take my family and my son helped me out with a lot of data collection that we were doing for our partner, partner organization. And um, so it was great. Saw my saw my mom. Saw saw family uh, uh, over Christmas and, and New Year's. And so um, it it was actually really great. The other thing I did over break is we're in the process of figuring out what we want to be for the next ten years. Our our campus CSUCI. So I was in I was and am in charge of this effort to sort of re envision campus and, and and what do we want our our priorities to be. So um, that took up a lot of my last uh, several weeks. So. Thankfully, I'm okay. Some of my family is, has gotten COVID, but thankfully no one is, uh, at least lately, has been massively ill. So um, so very blessed with that. And so with that, that's me. Super Dr. stoked a. for the class. I'm going to pop the corner over to Dylan. To Dylan. Dr. Dr. A? Do yeah, you, Laura. Are you from New Orleans? No, I'm from San Francisco. Oh. <laughs> Good. Okay. It's sort of the same, but, but also really <laughs> but a different. a little different. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I just... Uh, I, um, and maybe some, I don't remember the list, but maybe some of you guys are coming with us to New Orleans this, uh, this semester, but um, I used to go to New Orleans for, for scientific purposes and stuff. And then when, when I started at CSUCI was just a little before Hurricane Katrina hit. And so that's, we started going there to help and I started bringing you guys to help. And um, we just developed like long relationships. So I have, I have many, many, many friends and, and ties there now, but but it wasn't wasn't from there. Cool. Very cool. On a popcorn it to Dylan, go for it. All right. My name is Dylan, and I am hopefully going to my last semester in <laughs> ESRM. And uh, I've been working as an environmental consultant for about five and a half years now. And as for my break. I didn't really get one. I took Spanish over the winter and retained none of it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I also was working on my capstone project over the winter. I'm doing wildfire risk mapping. And Dr. A is actually my mentor for that group. And yeah, that's about it. Awesome. Awesome. And then just, just Dylan, just pick somebody that hasn't gone yet. Loretta. Okay, hi, I'm Loretta Davidson, and I happen to be down in Houston right now, and may be here for a little while, but um, I've been a student at Channel Islands for, um, it'll be four years, and I should be graduating this summer, but circumstances may not allow that to happen the way I expected. So, um, but I, I've thoroughly enjoyed all the classes I've taken, and I've taken more classes than I needed to, um for a degree but uh it's all information that i wanted and i love all these professors so that's it awesome go ahead uh, uh loretta pick pick 
Somebody, pick anybody. Holly Jones. Hi, my name is Holly Jones. Um, I'm the I'm an ESRM major, and I've been at Channel Islands for a couple of years now. Um, as far as my break, I actually spent a few weeks in England because that's where my family's from. So went and spent some time with them. But yeah. So was that was it? Was I mean, it must have been great to see your family, but was the traveling kind of weird or is it chill? It was it was really hard because there's no there was no direct flights actually from LAX to Heathrow. Oh, wow. so like we had to do, which we've never done before. We had to do like an internal connection. Um, and they were all getting like canceled left, right and center. So that was a little bit, but I mean, I mean, I, I love the mask thing. Don't get me wrong, but 24 hours in a mask totally. is, a bit, yeah. is a bit intense. And then there's all the testing regulations when you get in and get out. So it worked, but it was definitely more difficult than it usually is. Cool. Well, we're glad you're safe. We're glad, we're glad you saw your family and that you're safe. Yes, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna choose M. Richer. Hi, um, it's uh, M. Richter. Sorry, to start with a correction. <laughs> cool. Um, uh, yeah, my name's M. Richter. I've been an ESRM major here. I was a transfer student from College of the Canyons. Um, I've spent my break uh, doing grandparent hobbies so <laughs> like lots of carpentry uh, furniture building sewing uh, taking care of plants that sort of thing sweet um, so I've spent most of my break inside trying not to be sick and I'm lucky enough to uh, not work in a service industry job anymore I work on a really small farm so <laughs> uh, I'm very happy not to like have to worry about crazy people in stores anymore but not much has happened over break, which is actually really nice, <laughs> except for, you know, world changing historical events. That's but all. That's all. That's all. Um, and all well, welcome. Pop awesome. I'll popcorn it to John. Yeah, my name is John Bliss. Um, I've been an ESRM student for about three years. Um, I spent my break uh, doing a lot of volunteer work for uh, homeless people and uh, doing volunteer work for uh, troops overseas and things like that. So, kind of. Awesome, John, wh wh where, was that uh, Ventura? Was that LA? Wh where were you doing a lot of your volunteering? Uh, Simi Valley, I live there. Simi, okay, cool, cool. And I'll popcorn it to Alexis. Hi, my name is Alexis. Um, over the winter break, I was working on my capstone project as well um, with my professor, Dr. A. Um, unfortunately, during my winter break, I did end up getting COVID for New Year's Eve, which kind of sucked, but I didn't really feel too too sick. It was me, my son, and my my parents all got COVID, but my little sister was the only one who didn't get it, so. She got really lucky, but other than that, I just stayed home pretty much, <laughs> but that's it. Are you recovered, Alexis, or are you still not, are you still under the weather? No, I'm recovered. Okay, cool. Yeah, well, I just sound like that. I don't know why. <laughs> no, it's okay. I, I just, I didn't, I didn't mean it that way. I just, I'm just curious <laughs> if you were doing okay. So I'm glad, I'm glad you're, I'm glad everybody's okay. My, my um, nephew got it at his school. Um, he was, he's, you know, I don't know what he is, like eight or nine. So he was vaccinated, but he still, he, he got a, he got a breakthrough case or whatever it was. A bunch of his kids in his school were getting it. He's in Orange County. And, uh, and then it sort of started burning through all the, the, the first like, oh yeah, it's great. He's got it. Nobody else in the household got it. And then all of a sudden it was like, doink, 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 doink. So um, oh, totally, no. <laughs> totally, totally get the spreading of, of it, but yeah, glad you're doing well. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pick Giselle. Hi, good morning. I go by Giselle. Um, this is hopefully my last semester here. I was also working on my um, capstone project over the break. Um, as far as my break, I did go to um, Lima, Peru to see my Ooh. grandma. I just came back on Friday. So that was nice. Um, they're very strict over there with COVID and vaccinations, so. I felt a little, a little bit 
protected over there. What so. was the travel crazy or was it not too crazy for you? Um, going there, uh, my mom and I, we did a, a one or a nonstop. So it was only about like less than eight hours. But coming back, our flight got canceled. So we had to fly from um, Peru to Georgia, which was about seven hours, and then Georgia to LA, which was like another five hours. So it was a, a lot of traveling. It was exhausting. <laughs> totally, totally. But yeah, other than that, my break was good. Good. Glad you saw your family. That's super cool. Yeah. Thanks. So I'm going to popcorn it to Samuel. Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Samuel, but y'all can call me Sam. Um, I'm an ASRM major. This is actually my second CSU campus. Originally, I was at CSUN doing psychology, but then I just loved environmental science, everything about nature, and I just having to switch over to a more closer to the home campus. Um, during the break, I spent the whole month with my twin brother. I am a twin. Uh, he does go to UC Riverside, so luckily uh, we. Um, but I didn't get caught because we look alike, so they can't tell the difference between us. So <laughs> they wait to um, just get free rent. <laughs> or, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm also wearing a mask because I'm currently in a public campus space because my roommates are asleep right now, so I don't want to wake them up with my ADM. So understandable for the first two weeks. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, and I will pass it on to George. Uh, Avalos? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. Uh, can you guys repeat the questions? I just got in right now into the. Oh, suite. it's all good, dude. We're, we're just we're just uh, saying our name for everybody and a little just quick a little bit about us and how how the break was basically. Uh, okay. Uh, so my name is uh well, Jorge Avalos. I'm a ESRM major. Uh, this is my last year here in CSUCI. Uh. My break was pretty good. I went to Mexico uh, for a whole month. Uh, so it was pretty awesome. I got to be with family over there, uh, see some friends. So it was pretty chill. Um, it was pretty, uh, you know, a pretty nice time uh, being in Mexico. So yeah, uh, so I'll pass it on to uh, M. Richard. Uh, she went. Uh, uh, it's okay. You, you came in a little late. That's cool. Um, how about, uh, I don't think Charlene's gone. All right. Okay. Hi, I'm Charlene. Um, over my break, I didn't do that much. I spent most of it at home, but my grandpa did come out to see us over the Christmas break. and He was there for like three weeks. We hadn't seen him for like three years, so that was pretty cool. And I've just been working on my capstone project too. Sweet. But I'll popcorn it to Megan. Hi, I'm Megan. I'm a third year at CI. Um, I recently switched my major to ES ESRM. Um, a little late, so I'm really excited to start taking some of the major classes. Um, really looking forward to that. Over break, um, my roommate ended up getting COVID, oh, no. so I spent quite a bit of time at my family's house, but it ended up being a good relaxing time and nice time to see my family before the semester starts. Cool. Well, we're glad that you, you're safe, and I assume your roommate's okay now. Yeah, she's great now. <laughs> cool, cool. Um, I'm going to popcorn over it to, I think Max hasn't gone. Correct. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Max, ASR major as well. Final year. Uh, didn't, do too any, uh, didn't do anything too crazy over the winter break, mainly rested. And that's mainly it. Resting is cool, dude. I, th I think I rested too much, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll pass it over to uh, Margaret. Hi, my name's Margaret. I am an ESRM transfer. This is actually my first semester. Um, during my break, I mostly 
I didn't do very much. I basically just went to work and stayed at home mostly. And yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Let's see who's left. Um, I think Eloisa's left. Uh, did we do Brooke? I think maybe okay, those let's are. Let's do Eloisa. Hi guys, my name's Eloisa. Um, I usually go by Elo or L. Um, I don't really care, whichever works. Um, this is my first semester at CSU CI. I transferred over from Ventura College. And over my break, I didn't really do much either. I mainly worked. Um, I think this is like my first week of freedom because I was actually isolated from my family because I all got COVID, but I oh, didn't. So, yeah, they're all good now. We're all recovered. So cool. um, yeah, that was pretty much it. Over the holidays, I hung out with family and um, that was good to see them. So yeah, it's good to be back to school because I took a whole semester off. So I'm excited. We're, we're stoked you're here. That's super cool. <laughs> Thank you. So I think uh, Brooke is left, right? Yeah, I think so. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Brooke. I am an ESRM major. I'm a transfer student from Fresno. Um, I should be graduating in a couple semesters. I think spring 23 is my goal right now. Um, over the break, let's see, I did get to see family, which was really nice. Um, and then I went on a couple like camping trips. I went up to like Big Sur. And then this last week I was in Joshua Tree. So that was really fun. Oh, thank God he did it the right way. Because if he did, if he did Joshua Tree and then Big Sur, he'd have been in the fire. So, so yeah. smart move, smart move. Yeah, it ended up working out pretty good. I mean, I will say when I was in Big Sur, it was raining quite a bit. So didn't plan that one too well, <laughs> but it was still really beautiful. So awesome. Well, welcome. We're stoked you're here. Is is anybody? Do we? I think we got everybody. Did, did I? Did we miss someone? Okay, awesome. Perfect. Uh, what was it Samuel says about Joshua Tree? What was your What was your thing, Sam? Uh, so when I was at CSUN, I took the, this recreational tourism management class, oh, cool. and our midterm was basically at Joshua Tree. It was more like a leadership exercise where we had to um, read map topography and lead our group um, into like a big massive circle in the desert to find our water supply before like nightfall. Which was ironic because it's, it was the most painful yet like funnest adventure ever because constantly stepping on like small hidden cactuses in the dirt. Aside from that, it was actually just one big circle on the map at the end of the May. Because our professor was like, "See, so yeah, guys, I actually had you all go in a big circle. Nice. Uh, our water supply was right next to, to where we parked our car. So it was a good exercise for y'all. It was like an eight hour hike. It was, it was brutal, but it was also pretty fun. And then we camped there overnight. And it was a funny, it was a fun experience. Like, I think the funny the funny thing that happened there was we actually went into like a small cave and there was bats inside of it. So we were all crawling out, but oh god. And our professor was just laughing. I was like, that's that's a that's a that's a safety concern, but it was also funny. So it's, it's okay. You know, like. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I I love to be safe, but I also uh in the classic guy where people people say, like, mm, that's kind of a safety concern, but you know, it's all good. Awesome. Well, I'm I'm super stoked that that uh, everybody's here. Everybody's doing well. Uh, love to hear that um, people have finally been able to see some family, especially after you know a, a long break because of this pandemic. Um, that's great. I'm also stoked that you guys are out camping. I'm jealous. I I normally backpack a lot and 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 hike a lot. Not so much during COVID. Um, so right before COVID, um, literally like like three weeks before I did uh, uh, my last big adventure was we did a wilderness survival in Ely, Minnesota as winter survival, um, ice camping and, and, and sub freezing uh, shelter building and stuff like that, which was awesome. But that was my last big, big backpack. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I'm stoked you guys are out there getting about, I can't wait to, to do more of that stuff. So awesome. Um, great. Uh, <clears throat> Next, what I want to do is, and also, uh, Samuel, we have to talk about your family's uh, restaurant because I must investigate. Uh, it, it's I, it's probably safe, but I need to go just check and make sure it's not poisonous. So I might need to go check. Oh, no, no, no. It's not my restaurant. Oh, it's not, not your restaurant. It's just oh, a restaurant. Oh, or do you just town. have one in Simi uh, or, or, or near you in Santa Paula? Santa okay, Paula. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, it's like 30 minutes from here, from campus. Okay, cool. 
Well, I'm a little bit more disappointed. I thought I thought you're going to set me up with some sweet food, but that's cool. No, no, no offense. No offense. Um, OK, so uh, what I want to do first is before we get into to class stuff, I just wanted to talk about a, a bit of um, overarching campus logistics stuff. Um, again, you guys interrupt me if, if something isn't doesn't make sense or if you have questions. Um, so uh, first, uh, we are not, we've not gone virtual, right? We're, we're on Zoom right now, which is kind of funny for me to say, we're not going virtual, we are virtual right at the moment. But um, this is a, a slight pause, right? This is a two week pause mandated by the, the high probability of getting infected with Omicron. We've traveled up this wave and at least for our area of the country, um, we, are, we seem to have crested and we're, we're either heading down or, or about to start heading, head down um, the other side of that um, high degree of, of infection um, associated with this. Some of the data, uh, some of the modeling have suggested that something like maybe up to 2% of the US population was gonna get infected uh, per day at the peak, which is, which is just huge, right? Um, so, so it, it totally makes sense for safety and all that kind of good stuff, but it's important that I communicate to you, this is, we have not gone virtual. All of campus's services are, are on and are available to you. So right now, if, or well, not right now because we're in class, but if, if somehow you left class right now and try to go to the library, the library's open, right? Uh, student union open, um, uh, uh, whatever, parking services, all that stuff is open. <clears throat> so even though we are doing most of our instruction virtually for this, these next two weeks, campus is fully open, fully staffed. If you need help with IT, people are there, um, it's, it's all good. So, so do realize that. Key, if you guys, like, like uh, Sam was saying that, you know, he has some roommates that are sleeping, whatever. If you guys have cruddy internet at home or, or just roommates that you don't want to wake up at eight o'clock or whatever, do realize you can all come to campus, right? So you can come on campus, jump on campus, Wi-Fi. All of that is open. We are not closed. Campus is not shuttered or anything, anything close to that, nor do we have any plans of doing that. And um, so, so just realize all those resources are available to you. Some of my students that are doing capstone, for example, or maybe with some other faculty, um, you guys can go to lab and you guys can to this afternoon or, you know, tomorrow, whatever. So, so I want to make sure that, that uh, you guys understand that. Uh, next, uh, as far as uh, stuff with regards to safety, um, we still have, even though campus is all open, whenever, just like last semester, whenever we're, 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 we are on campus, um, you guys need to be wearing your masks. Um, we've upgraded the, the requirement for masks. So, um, you know, because of the ease of spreading the infection with Omicron, um, regular cloth masks, buffs, just simple buffs, um, not good enough. Um, you, you really need to have surgical grade N95, something of that nature. We do have um, masks in the lab. Um, we don't have thousands and thousands, but absolutely, if you guys, if you guys, you know, need a mask or whatever, you can pop over to our labs in, in Sierra Hall and, and grab one. Uh, and other places around campus should have masks as well. So, um, so, do, so do realize that we're, we're asking folks to wear um, a more robust mask when you, when you are uh, on campus spaces. Uh, and again, uh, just let me know if you, if, you, if you need help with that or many, many places around campus can help with that. Um, next one is testing. We've all been, or a lot of us have been traveling and doing all that kind of crazy stuff, right? So um, uh, request that you guys, um, if you have been traveling or whatever, if you've not been tested recently, uh, go ahead, get tested that this week or next week. Um, it's all free. Um, uh, you uh, Today is probably crazy. I suspect today and maybe tomorrow might be a little crazy for all the folks that have moved back into the dorms and such. But um, but do realize that in in the Petite Salon in, in, in North Quad, uh, where we had testing last uh, semester, testing is, is still there. Um, it's all free. 
you need to register the very first time, which you can do online before you get there. If you totally space out and don't remember, you can actually register when you get there, but, but you have to register first before you get in line. Um, and they do uh, tests. Uh, last test I did there was about a week and a half or so ago, week, week and a half ago. And they're really apologetic. They said, oh, you know, sorry, the state's really swamped and it's going to take longer than normal to let you know your results. I got my results in about 11 minutes. So, so even the slow is, is fairly fast. Um, and uh, so, so yeah, so, so that option is available. That's, that's, that's free to you guys. You can go every day if you wanted to. There's, there's, there's no cost. There's no penalty, what have you. Um, uh, obviously, for these next two weeks, we're, we're, this is where we are, so no problemo, um, but do realize we, we, we do have the um, not permitted on campus list, and um, it doesn't, it's not really, uh, it's not really um, uh, uh, real right now, I guess is a way to say that for our class, but um, starting with uh, the weekend before we um, uh, our, our, our week three, we'll, we'll, we will return to face-to-face. -face. We instructors are supposed to go check that list, query that list, and make sure that everybody's, is, everybody's chill. Um, so the reason you would get on that not permitted on campus list would be um, perhaps you have a, a, a medical reason why you can't get vaccinated, um, in which case those of you that this applies to know this, you need to do weekly testing. But if you miss that weekly testing, um, uh, you know, uh, window, uh, or the other way you guys could get on that is um, uh, do realize, and, and you, you probably saw this, but just to make sure, uh, since people were, were away over the break, um, what we now consider, so everybody that doesn't have an exemption has to be fully vaccinated. What we now consider fully vaccinated is, is with your initial vaccine and your booster. Um, if it's been it depends on which one, but if it's been five or six months since you got your, you got your previous one. So um, if you are eligible for your booster, get it. And again, there's resources on campus to, to direct you to get that and Walmart and, every, and CVS and all kinds of places have it. Um, but, but you're gonna need to upload your proof of having that booster as well. So even if you started last semester and uploaded your documents and said, yep, I'm, I'm vaccinated, all good to go, um, there is now, because of that requirement, there is an additional uh, documentation you have to upload, and that could get you on the, on the list. And so if you guys do show up on that list, um, I'm not allowed to uh, let you guys into class. Um, based on what happened last semester, most folks, it was, it was a clerical error. Either they thought they'd uploaded their document, and they thought they were good to go, and, but regardless. So, so there's, there's, there's no ill will. There's no no evil thoughts about you, whatever, but, but I, I'll, I'll, um, I'll check again before class and I'll let you guys know if that happens to you. Um, yeah, you, 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 uh, you need to take care of that before you, you get back to our in-person stuff. Um, okay. What else did I want to say about that? Um, yeah. So, so having said that, uh, another one that, um, and, and we can have a conversation about this, love to hear what you guys think, but what we did last semester is what I would like to do this semester, which is um, when we have our our face to face things. Um, if if you're you're ill, um, but you know it's not COVID. So if you have you know hay fever or or whatever, got the flu or something, and and have gone through like ten rounds of testing, and you know it's definitely not COVID, um, we'd really appreciate it if you would stay home that that class session, right? So. Um, folks that are, uh, even though, even though you know that maybe you don't have COVID, um, you know, if you're sort of coughing in the background there, it's going to be harder for folks to, to pay attention and, and to focus. So, so, um, uh, I got you covered. I can, I can provide the materials and stuff for you guys after the fact. Uh, but, but just as, as a respect thing for all of our fellow students and everyone, uh, if, if you are feeling under the weather, just send me a little quick note. Hey, Dr. A, um, don't feel well today. I, I got tested, I'm good, but I just, I don't quite feel well. It's all good. Um, just let me know and, and uh, we'll go from there. Um, if that's cool, any, any comments about that or any, any feedback about that, thoughts? 
Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, I was going to ask you, but maybe we want to talk about it separate later. So okay, I won't cool. be able to make it person to person. Okay. All right. Um, uh, do, 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 what else do I want to say? Um, okay, yeah. So um, this will come when we talk about uh, my office hours and stuff, but but uh, because we're, we're virtualized, um, these next two weeks, even though I have opportunities for face-to-face -face office hours, um, I'm gonna do them on Zoom for these next two weeks. And in talking with some of my fellow faculty, I think, I think most of your faculty are gonna be doing that. Um, although I, don't, I, I can't speak for everyone. So um, when you're looking at your other classes and you're looking at, you, know, you wanna talk to someone or whatever, um, do realize that uh, uh, even if they, if for the majority of the semester they're going to be um, having in-person office hours, it's highly likely that these these first two weeks they will be on uh, Zoom, and so there might be an additional link or, or a different uh, way to to hook up with the with your instructor. Um, so just just be aware of that. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, any any oh. The other one is we also, as of Wednesday, we'll have a new president, a new president for our university. So I say new, but I don't know who it is. So it could just be our interim president. President Yao might just become the permanent president. But regardless, the search for um, a new president is concluded and the official announcement will be made on Wednesday. And so, um, so we will have new leadership or, or at least permanent leadership. Um, it's it's difficult leading an organization like this through a pandemic. It's also really difficult when you're not the the main official leader. You're just sort of in a holding position. So uh, hopefully um, that is only bodes well for us as we go on, on on the future. So that's cool. So have a have a look out for that. Um, and yeah, uh, everything else should be uh, after these first two weeks should be back to face to face. I fully expect we're going to have a regular graduation this year, um, uh, and so on and so forth. The only thing that, at least so far, is a little bit complicated is um, if you have any classes, since we do a lot of island trips, historically, ESRM does a lot of island trips to Santa Rosa Island. Sounds like many of those um, are only going to be day trips for the next month, month and a half. So that we'd hope Hopefully we're intending to resolve that. And as of January, go back to regular overnights and things. That's a little bit, um, uh, the park services is rules are making us have to be a little bit slower return to that. But that's, that's uh, I think that's all the major campus updates um, I have for you all. Um, does anybody have any questions, any general questions about stuff this semester or, or, or safety issues? Do we have any field trips for this course or? Yeah, so, so we'll get to that. So, so hopefully, um, although uh, I haven't scheduled them until week three. So I wanna make sure that everything is, is good to go. And again, that since we have a new pre we're gonna have a new president, uh, um, I'm assuming things are gonna stay the same, but, but rather than schedule them have to change, currently we don't have any schedule, but I would like to have at least a couple. Um, so that's the intent. Okay. Coming down to New Orleans, I can meet you there. There you go. There you go. All right, great. Um, any other any other uh, questions? Oh, and M said that the CDC has a list of where you can get uh, uh, good solid masks as well. So that's uh, that's super cool. Um, and, and Sam says also at the at the Multicultural Dream Center, there's there's also. Uh, repositories of masks. So yeah, I think a lot of, I think, I think separate, so those are both great resources. I think also library and other places around campus will have some, um, some, some resources. And, and again, the best thing we can do right now, as far as getting out of this thing is, is staying masked as much as we're all so tired of masks. Uh, 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 keep masks and washing our hands, actually. Uh, those two things. Um, the models all show, you know, boop, 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 you know, the infection is spiking, and then the models all show doo -doo 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 -doo, the, the spiking going down, which we all desperately want. Um, but uh, if what sometimes happens in these situations is, is 
all the, the, the news this is starting to happen, right? We're, we're he hearing the news stories. Oh, we've, the wave is crested and, and people are like, damn, I'm good. And like, boom, get rid of that mask. And it's like, well, you know, we will soon be good, but, but don't quite do it yet. And so if, if we do get lax on our, our masking and, and safety and stuff over the next, you know, two, two weeks or so, instead of a, a steep drop off, we might get a much more extended drop off and we want to avoid that. So we can all get back to doing all this stuff. Cool. Um, okay, great. Uh, with that, it looks like it's about 846 and I think it's about time to turn to uh, talking about our actual class, our logistics of our class. And so having said that, uh, for online, I like to give us you know about a five minute break or so every hour. Why don't we, I think I'll, I'll pause it here. So I'm gonna kill this recording. So we have this recording, which is just sort of our welcome stuff. And then um, I have 8.46 on my clock. So we'll call it uh, uh, 8.51, we'll come back. So feel free to turn off your camera for five minutes. We'll come back and we'll start talking about our syllabus and going through the logistics of class. Cool? So five minute break, everybody. <laughs> 